Hello, I am Trisha from Keep Your Daydream, and if you have been following us around, we've been going around the United States. We are in month five almost. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it. So the one question that you guys have been asking is for an RV tour. So today is your day. We have five people. That is Mark, Trish, Tori, Carson, Caleb, and a 16-year-old golden retriever. But the most important part is we have a teenager, a preteen, and a tween living in this RV, all of us, pretty much peacefully. So I'm, I'm taking that as like awesomeness. So I wanna show you the simple little things that we use in our RV every single day to help make our life better and keep us sane. <laughs> There's Maddie. <laughs> Come on. Let me bring you where the magic happens. Come on. Mark. What? Here. Oh my gosh, we gotta keep that guy on track. <laughs> if you are ever feeding your family, you know that that is probably the most important thing besides sleep to keep everybody happy. So we take it pretty serious here. <laughs> Save the neck for me, Clark. <laughs> okay, Eddie. And what I'm working with here is uh, nothing. <laughs> I call this my easy bake oven because it's like a pretend. You remember when you were a kid? Well, not if you're a boy watching this, but girls remember easy bake ovens? Well, that's pretty much what this thing is. It's the most beautiful oven I've ever seen. You like mix a, a brownie together and it comes out. It's kind of crazy. You cross your fingers. But um, actually, the, the gas fire range is really great. So anyway, and then we've got this awesome area with all kinds of cups and stuff like that. Well, as long as we're here, we might as well have a glass of wine. This is a wine RV tour. So here's the fridge. Right now we're marinating some chicken and we've got eggs and I don't know, it's a hodgepodge. We've been here for a few days. Normally we find like the best strawberries and sometimes when all the fruit is in season. And if you watched our RV, when we were leaving Montreal, we had like, the whole thing was filled with produce from the farmer's market. It was totally insane and we got pulled over. You gotta watch that. So let's see, pour yourself a glass of wine or a soda or something. And then let's make our way through the rest of this. Okay, so remember when you went to like seventh or eighth grade and you got your first locker and how excited you were? Well, I want you to transport yourself into adulthood and that's what you just got. You got a locker and that locker is gonna need to store all your plates and your cups and everything else. So go to locker storage. I think those are the best things going as far as keeping all your stuff organized. Okay, so up here we have this big locker shelf so I can put all the bowls and the cups on top and the fragile items down below. And then over here we've got this so I can put different kinds of plates and paper plates and little bowls back here. But this little buddy right here, this is gonna be your best friend. It's a tension rod. And I have found that putting tension rods in all different kinds of places is so awesome because then stuff isn't falling out on you all the time. Or just a lot of displacement happens. I mean, when uh, maybe, I don't know what an RV is like, but a travel trailer is a rolling earthquake. I mean, this place is a wreck. If I leave anything on the counter, I mean, it's a cannonball across the room. So, you know, that's just kind of nice. Oh, and then you, you don't have to open your doors with caution. So we've got those things. And then in this RV, we only have one, two, three, four drawers. That's pretty tight. If you like to cook anything, you have more than four drawers at home. So instead of using the top drawer for silverware, I put all the silverware in this little guy. So it's just like this cool little carrying thing. I think I got it for like under $10 at Marshall's. Everything's organized, it's easy to put away, it's easy to get to, and you get a whole drawer, bonus drawer. So in that drawer, I keep all of my spices. I had a, it was very sad when I had to like say, okay, only these guys get to come on the trip. That's all I need. And this remote control, the ashtray, the pilot game, and the remote control, and that's all I need. Everybody else has to go because I had a lot at home. But I love fresh pepper and I love kosher salt. So I think that this right here is a really cool idea. So you can get to your kosher salt, but it's closed up and it's in your top drawer so it's easy to get to. So the other thing you're going to learn is that everything that gets to come with you in your RV has to be a hard worker. That means it has to do two jobs at least. Oh. 
So like this, I have this little guy. Well, not only does it strain things, but it also lines up all my dishes for dry wash and it folds down easily so I can put it away. And then this little guy under here traps all the water, but guess what? I can clean it out. I can use it as a tray, anything like that. These little TV trays were super cheap at Walmart. So if anything breaks or you, anything happens to it, you're not gonna feel a big loss. They were only like $6. So, but the kids can work on them. I can get an added area because I totally need all of this space right here to work and put together dinner. But then I could be cleaning as I go because you're gonna find when you live without a dishwasher, life gets a little more challenging. So, um, so anyway, we have a microwave. I prefer storage instead of having microwave, but you know, it's there. So kids get popcorn, everybody's happy. This is also a really cool idea. Look at that. You can, make this little storage area and put it anywhere. I have one, two, three, I think four in the back of Caleb's bed and it has all of our extra sheets, extra blankets. So it all stays really tucked in the back, nice and cozy. And then he just shoves his blankets when he makes his bed in the morning, you just. <laughs> okay, so speaking of double jobs, down here we brought in this little ottoman because sitting here we were all kind of like sitting there with no armrest. <laughs> If that's supposed to be our couch, it's not very comfortable. So we threw this ottoman down, but not only is it just an ottoman, it's also Caleb's dresser. So we have all his clothes in there. So that's a score because Caleb like super lucked out because Tori and Carson got this. This is what, is what Carson got. He got two little pink pink. We're gonna leave Tori's alone. We have Tori and Carson. This is their little place and we brought the special pillows out for you. You know, like when you get your house ready for guests, that's what this is. If you haven't made your bed, throw it away. It's too late to make it now. Company is coming. Today, <laughs> making it special for you because all of those pillows would be down here stored away because when we first left, I was like, oh, I have to make it so cute because it's gonna look so nice all the time. No, it needs to be totally functional. But if you don't believe me and you go and buy all those pillows, that's totally fine because you can store them down here. All of this is totally open storage. So we have a printer down here. We have extra like sparkling water. It's a great place to come and it never looks like this. This is really only for you. Stairs need to be pushed in. There cannot be any sign of living in this house. <laughs> And, but everything here is multifunctional. Up there is all of our books, all of our storage. We have, we do school online. And so one of our kids has a bunch of books and they're all up there. So when we are underway, when we're underway, sounds like we're boating, which welcome to our land yacht. So when we're out, um, we have to take everything off the counters. You can't leave anything on the counters. If you're in our rear, you already know this. But you would take, we take this coffee machine and it goes perfectly inside here. And look, this little guy, look at how cool that is. It totally drops right in. No big deal. So I like throw everything in. Oh, and that brings me to these. Your life is not complete without these in an RV. If you get them for antibacterial for the tabletops, if you get them for Windex and you can do the TVs, if you get them in pledge and you could do all the countertops, it will make your life so easy. You are going to find that there is no more under the counter sink area. You know where you put all your stash, all your 409 and all that kind of stuff. You don't have it anymore. So this is a all everything you need right here. You just wipe it down. Clean never smelled this fresh before. Woo. Okay. We covered the kitchen. I have time to have a drink. Oh, by the way, these are plastic. How cool is that? So that I don't have to worry about breaking wine glasses. Cleaning supplies. Technically, we still have an under the counter area, but I'm still telling you that wipes are your best friend. Um, but plastic containers, see, there they are. They pop out again. It's the revenge of the wipe. Little guy right here. This is brilliant. You need one of these. It's a little tiny little deal. You need this. I have the Swiffer. Mark fought me on this little. I have to say, fought me a little. Do you like it now? I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's like, <laughs> he's saying he likes it. Like if he was on an interview, it'd be like blink once if you really mean it. Blink twice if you don't. <laughs> like everybody has a paper towel holder on their counter or on their wall or under their little cabinet at home. But then we got here and we're like, we don't have one. So we threw this on here. It's been awesome. But I used Velcro because this RV, nothing sticks to it. Nothing. Every time you drill in, it falls out. So we've decided to um, outsmart the RV and we use 
Velcro command strips everywhere. Your number one thing that you're gonna want at Walmart or Target or Amazon, command strips. Command hooks right here, this little guy. We've got, this is Velcroed, this is command stripped. Check this out. This is all of our files that we like. These were like, because we've gotten mostly paperless, but we have a few things that just won't go paperless. Emma. So we put together this little file box and then I put it on top of a locker storage thing. Okay guys, we have made it through the kitchen, the kitchen eating area, the TV room. This is it right here. <laughs> and then we had Caleb's, that whole thing pulls out and makes into a bed. Oh, if you are RV shopping, one thing you're gonna wanna check out, if you have kids and you're thinking you're gonna really make that couch into a bed, you're gonna wanna check the seams and actually lay down in it and see if you like it because this one, the seam is really close together so Caleb doesn't feel like he's sinking in or it's like, it's like a real bed. That's what I'm getting at. It's a real bed, it's super comfortable. So if you're shopping and you're like, yeah, okay, I got one, two, three beds. Well. If that bed stinks, they're not gonna sleep in it and that's gonna be a gigantic pain in the butt for you. Let's check out the master bedroom. Come on, I'll meet you around the corner. Hello! <laughs> okay, remember I talked about command strips and command hooks and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, here they are. Now, don't cheap out. If you want the nice ones that are actually gonna work, you need to get the ones that are gonna hold like the five pounds or whatever. If you do the little ones, you're gonna just be struggling with it on your whole trip because remember, this thing shakes and quakes and it's crazy. And then the other thing is, Mark and I didn't want the RV mattress that came. So we took our mattress from our house and put it in here. I mean, it was like this. <laughs> shoving it in we we're using every force but the doors still close and it's awesome so then we have we totally have our bed from home up here we put some containers remember I talked to you about how like it gets kind of expensive after a while you're getting ready to go in your RV and you're like I need this and I need this and I need this and the bill is like going up and up and you're like this is just one tiny point I was gonna get something like really cute up there and I was like okay enough's enough I'm not buying ten dollar baskets times three so I got these clear ones for a dollar fifty and it actually ends up being better it doesn't look as nice but you know where your things are now I'm not gonna let you see the inside of my closet because it's like this <laughs> hey welcome to my set hello um, I didn't want to show you the inside of this closet but I felt I needed to <laughs> Because there are some really cool things. The only reason I didn't want to show is because it's messy. But um, that sh that shoe rack that you would normally put in a closet and put shoes in, I'm using it for like shorts and t-shirts. And then there's a couple other really cool things. This thing is really deep. So remember that black folding box? I have one of those back there with all kinds of stuff that I don't wear. But um, you could put extra shoes or things like that. But one of the cool things I have in here is a hanger with multiple hanging things. A little thing for jewelry so all of Tori's jewelry just fits in are you even kidding me she's never worn any of this I can't leave it I can't put it in a box came up with this solution oh and then hats and command strips okay so I was listening to a speaker once and she said if you want to know if your husband really loves you <laughs> don't listen to I love you honey but listen to the acts of service <laughs> and these are my acts of service for Mark lights I said, I can't see in this pantry. So not only did I get lights in here, but they're motion sensored lights. So when you close it, it's off, like you don't have to flip a switch. But, and then when you open it, it turns on. They are stick on with a magnet. Look at how cool that is. Motion sensored battery operated. So you just put the batteries in there and then you stick the magnet up there and this goes here. And then motion sensor, that will go off. I don't have to think about it again. And they're over here too. How cool is that? But again, here's the clear, the clear containers. And then you can see everything and you can pull it out. And then you get a whole nother row. This guy up here is a bin and I just hold like extra chips and stuff but it perfectly fits in the sink. So when we're like dry camping, you know, boondocking, I can put it in the sink and I can wash all the dishes and then I can dump the water outside so that I don't, you know, raise the gray tank. And it just holds stuff in the back. This one has USBs, which if you have a charging issue in your house, you love these USBs because you can't always find the cube 
and then everybody's like, where's my cube? No, that's mine. A wireless speaker. This RV comes with wireless speakers, but I find that this is so much better because then the music can be wherever you want instead of everybody listening to it and you can bring it outside. Pay attention to these kind of details because this is the kind of stuff that's going to drive you crazy. We have Tori's room here and again we replaced the mattress so that she wasn't left with an uncomfortable mattress and we were looking at this one RV where there were three bunks stacked on top and we we're like oh my gosh that's so cool because then all the kids could just have their little space but then we realized that they couldn't sit up. So the cool part about this is that Tori really uses this as her little den. So she has all kinds of stuff here. We've got a ukulele. We have some knitting supplies. <laughs> There's all kinds of activities going on in here. Oh, and so it's really kind of feels like a room. I mean, in, you know, in. So you saw the kids' rooms. You saw where we eat. You saw the bedroom. You saw the kitchen. Did I already say that? Yeah, I did. How about the bathroom? Five people, one bathroom. One teenager. Now I'm like 30 minutes. Look at this, you need the mirror. This is super important. We put, um, nothing stayed. We tried the command strips. The command strips failed me. We did liquid nail and we got this up there. So it's super important, not just so that you can check your outfit, so that you have two places to get ready because it's really important when five people are trying to get ready and this bathroom door is locked that you can brush your hair and all that kind of stuff. So here we go. Okay. Keep Your Daydream got a gift. Are you even kidding me? So this company, Inno, um, sent us this aromatherapy diffuser. It's super cool. You put in an oil and some water and then it just makes your bathroom smell awesome. But then also you can turn that part off and just leave it on as a nightlight. How cool is that? Let's talk about this little guy. This was, I think, $25, $30. I had to put it together. And um, how do you get five people with towels. You need at least 10 towels. So how are you going to get 10 towels in an RV? We went shopping and we found this. It's tight. Obviously this bathroom would have been way more spacious without it, but we needed a solution. So this provides us with all of our towels. Down below we put extra toilet paper. Oh, this is good. A magazine holder. Check it out. Magazine holder. It fits under the sink because the sink comes down like this and this doesn't take any space. And then it holds all of your hair dryers. We've got curling irons. We have a straightener, I don't know why. We have straight hair, but I have a teenager. Here's another locker solution. This is so cool. It has adjust adjustable shelves. Another awesome act of service. Mark gave us this awesome shower head because the shower head that came with this RV was terrible. The faucet you guys can get whatever you like, low energy, um, but, and then this part turns it off so you can wash your hair and then turn it off, save your hot water, because I love hot showers, and then turn it back on and then you still have your hot water because if you let it just run while you're taking a shower, you might be left in the cold. Your body goes into a panic-like cold shock. This has been so much fun. Thanks for coming over and hanging out with me tonight. And if you see something that we haven't seen, an idea or a way to do something better, I want to know. So just leave a comment for us. But it has been so much fun having you with us through this trip and there is so much more to come. So give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hang out with us. We love having you along for the ride. Hello. No, okay. <sighs> okay, what are we doing? Hey, so let's see here. Oh, we didn't do the... Magic. Um, well fed is sleeping. Okay, wait, start, start over okay, again. Okay, okay. Cheers. Wait, camera guy. Camera guy, cheers. Whoops, I think the top fell off. Normally this works. You're back here. I have a drink. <laughs> like, really? You put this together every single time you use it? Yeah, I do, and it's awesome. That way I'm not, like, jumping. Anybody who's 5'2 and below knows you start jumping. I love throwing out old toothbrushes. They gross me out like to no end. They sent us this little sense, um, what is this, Mark? Diffuser. Okay.